Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite products so far of 2021. We have seen so many skin tints. We've seen so many cream products like cream bronzer, cream blush, and I'm not mad about any of it. I love trying out all of those things. We've even seen some amazing eyeshadow palettes, foundation. I mean, you name it, we've seen it. I looked through my stash, looking through my shelves, and I'm thinking, okay, what are some of the things that I keep reaching for? What are some of the things that you guys know, you hear me talk about that I really do enjoy? Let me put them together. And guys, if I had all the time in the world, I would share much more than just 10, but I like to keep these favorites videos to a minimum. You guys know that when I do my monthly uh, beauty favorites, I keep it to five products only. And today I'm gonna do my best to just keep it to 10 products. And that's hard because a lot of good stuff has come out already but seeing as how we're halfway done with the year I know where where is the time going like I just want this next month to go really 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 slow because it's when I take my vacation and it's all the time I have left leading up to when I go back to my day job so let's dive into this I am not gonna be ranking these like I am not putting them in any particular order and there's no guarantee that you're gonna see these at the end of the year either some things might be dethroned by products that still haven't been released yet so let's just dive right on into it and of course I will have all the products that I'm showing linked in the description box down below as will I have this look actually I'm gonna link you to the video I have where I demonstrate this entire face of makeup this is my Jaclyn Hill made me buy it video so definitely check that video out because it should already be up before this one goes up all right guys let's dive into this one other thing I forgot to mention these are all makeup products. I am not including skincare or beauty tools or anything like that in this bunch. It is strictly makeup. So if you guys want to see my top 10 favorites so far of 2021, keep on watching. All right, guys. So again, in no particular order, let's start off with foundation. And I think I think you guys have a pretty good guess as to what one of these foundations is going to be. Nabla Skin Realist. This is the Skin Realist Beautifying Tinted Balm. Guys, this is, this was my very first time trying like a Nabla complexion product. Like if they have a concealer, I've never tried it. If they have other foundations, which I think they do, I've never tried those. When this came out, and again, skin tints, serum foundations, those are everywhere right now. But when this came out, it was around, was it March, February, March, April, one of those. I definitely have a review video over it, so be sure to check that out. Um, I was blown away. I was blown away at the coverage, which it's more on the light to medium side of coverage, but just how glowy and luminous and healthy it made my skin look. You get a lot of product in here. There is 1.6 fluid ounces of product in here, and I want to say, does this retail for $30, $34, around that price point? It isn't available yet in the U.S., but I'm pretty sure they have to. Ulta has to be getting this because they get a lot of Nabla products. You can order it off the Nabla Cosmetics website. That is exactly what I did. Or you can order it from Beauty Bay. I have the shade Too Light and it's perfect. This is something that you really need to try. Another foundation, which is a recent, a recent review, a recent find, is from Soul Body. This is the face and body makeup. This came out about a month ago. I picked up the second to the lightest shade, which is Fair 4. Guys, $16 for three 
fluid ounces of product. Like there is a lot of product in here. This provides amazing coverage both for the face and for the body, I don't really wear a lot of body makeup, but when I applied this to my legs, it really gave them an airbrushed look. So if you're one who wears body makeup, this might be something you want to check out if you want to apply it on your legs or on your arms. There is a slight bit of transfer. Like I said before, nothing is ever really waterproof or transfer resistant, transfer proof. It is makeup. It's meant to come off. Just know it's not a lot. It is minimal, but I really love Love this this does well on my normal to oily skin I forgot to mention that I have normal to oily skin oily primarily in my t-zone this does a great job you can either set it or not set it I prefer to set it especially in my t-zone but for 16 bucks a nice coverage long lasting foundation that can be worn both on the face and on the body this one guys it's definitely worth checking out next let's talk about concealer and this is a very very recent find and review for me this is like a week ago like last weekend and it is from rcma makeup this is their concealer in the shade n20 it is their liquid concealer this is the first time they're putting out liquid based products i did review the liquid foundation along with this concealer and other loose and press setting powder which I am really enjoying those other products as well but this concealer it retails for $29 it is almost the exact same consistency as the foundation it's full coverage and it looks so beautiful on the skin it looked great under my eye area it did a great job of spot concealing right here on the sides of my cheeks and I think if you don't want to do the full commitment of the foundation Try the concealer first. It is $29. The foundation, I believe, is $36. Yes, you do get less product, but this is a nice way to try the brand as I am. I am a new customer of RCMA Makeup. I had never tried their brand before, but I am really happy I decided to pick this one up. And I love the whole component. I love the airtight packaging. And, and you can clearly see I've been using it. So you get 0.5 fluid ounces in this for $29, and I bought this directly off the RCMA. RCMA makeup website. Now let's talk about bronzer. You guys have seen since the start of 2021, so many bronzers have come out, primarily cream bronzers. But the one that really caught my eye and the one that I have been gravitating towards and just really enjoy using is from Juvia's Place and it is a powder bronzer duo. I picked up the shade medium in this and I like that you get these two different tones. This is more of a yellow based and this is more of a red based. I like to mix and match them or I go in with the red based first and then I use this yellow based at the top. I just think the shades complement each other really well. These are matte bronzers so if you don't like any luminosity in your bronzer you don't have to worry about it with this they go on so well like they glide on they blend out they're crazy pigmented and you get a mirror up here I just think this was a really really nice addition to the Juvia's Place line and guys I have done a review over the entire Juvia's Place bronze collection so I will definitely have that linked up above guys all of the products that I'm mentioning I have tried them on camera so I will have all of the corresponding videos linked in the description box in in case you want to reference them but this is a really nice bronzer it's an affordable bronzer this is how much is this one is this $15 it is definitely not more than $20 like it is a super affordable bronzer and guys the blush duos that Juvia's Place has those are definitely worth checking out and I have a video over those too so all of that will be in the description box but loving these from Juvia's Place guys I forgot I have another concealer and guys this concealer is like a very very recent find. This is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This concealer is replacing, I believe, a couple concealers in the Lancome concealer lineup. This is beautiful. To me, this is just like a spot on dupe of the Dior Forever Skin Correct. And when you watch this video, you'll see me that I actually compare the two. So if you're looking to maybe venture away from the Dior, 
venture over here to Lancome. This is a really creamy, really beautiful full coverage concealer. I got mine in the shade 110 and it is the perfect shade for me to not only spot conceal, but to camouflage the slight darkness that I have under my eye area. I've been loving it. I have been loving it so, so much, and I'm really glad I decided to try it out. It is a little bit cheaper than the Dior Forever Skin Correct as well, and I bought this online from Ulta Beauty. Now let's talk about blush, specifically cream blush. These are the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Melting Blushes. I picked up two shades when they were released earlier this year, and the first shade I have here is Nearly Apricot. And guys, the packaging is to die for. They're like little pink rocks, and I have them displayed on my white shelves, a white shelf like that one behind me. They're just so, so cute. And then the other shade that I picked up is in the shade nearly berry. I love them. I even love mixing the two shades together. These go on so well. You can use them with your fingers or you can use it with a brush. I like to use it with a brush and to me they last all day. They last at least a good six to seven hours before you know they start to fade away but this was one of the very first purchases that I made from Rare Beauty and this has been a really really nice way for me to try the brand. I haven't tried their liquid blushes yet. I hear those are really good as well but for me I just tend to go more for a cream based products and these are definitely worth checking out and they're just too cute. They're just so cute to look at. Now let's talk about lips and I have a trio of lippies that I am going to be sharing with you and they are from e.l.f. The e.l.f. and Jen Atkin collaboration. You get three different lipsticks and three different lip pencils. So it's a lipstick on one side and a lip pencil on the other and I really really like that concept. So here is the red shade. This is such a pretty red shade and this lasts. This lasts a good while on the lips. This one is in the shade. This one is in the shade ready to go. And then it has the corresponding lip pencil on the other end. The one thing I will say about these lip duos is they are very mattifying. So if you feel like you need a little bit more hydration or you just want a more glossy effect, go in with your favorite clear lip gloss and it's going to be just perfect for these lip duos. And guys, I'm putting these in my top 10 list because of the shades as well. So you have this bright red shade, which who doesn't need a red lipstick in their stash? Then you jump over to a pink neutral shade and this one is called, it has the names on the lids, and this one is called Self Made Pink. And I just love the shade. Like this is such an easy to wear shade. Goes with just about anything. And then finally we have the shade Bring It On Brown. And you can see, like I use these guys. I really enjoy using them. I throw them in my purse. They're just so easy like to travel with and just to throw on, like I said, with just about any eye look you have your lips covered in this lip trio from e.l.f. and Jen Atkin. I believe you can find these possibly on sale on the Ulta Beauty website, so definitely check that out because I think they're worth adding to your stash. Now for mascara. This is a very recent find and this mascara just, wow. This mascara just blew me away and it is from Catrice Cosmetics. This is the Glam and Doll Easy Wash Off Power Hold Volume Mascara. So it is like a tubing mascara. This is amazing. This gives volume, length, curl, separation, like it does everything. At first, it reminded me of the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, which that is a great one. If you need length to your lashes, the Sky High is a really awesome one, but this, this just takes it to the next level. You gotta get this home and you gotta try it out. It's only six bucks, six bucks or seven bucks on the Ulta Beauty website. 
I, I, I've been enjoying this. So this is a tubing mascara. So when you remove it at night, be sure you're using like an oil based type of cleanser and you're just going to rub your lashes between your fingers and you're going to feel it just to slowly start to flake off and go away. It is easy to remove when you want it to, but it does not come off easily when you don't want it to. That should make sense. I've said that before, so I hope it makes sense. I was just so impressed with this mascara and I tried it in my trying new Catrice Cosmetics video, which probably went up about a week or two ago. So definitely check that one out. Now we're gonna get to the eyeshadow palette the eyeshadow palettes because I have two I try not to go overboard because I've tried I've tried a lot of good eyeshadows in 2021 um, and I wish I could have included more but like I said earlier I wanted to keep this to 10 products only I just don't want things to be overwhelming you know in case you do want to pick up anything I don't want you to feel like oh no like there's so many things that I want and if we just keep it to 10 I think that's a good amount to where you can make a good buying decision so the first eyeshadow palette which unfortunately is no longer available is the Club Nebula palette from Kaleidos and Angelica Neefquest this eyeshadow palette guys I actually did a giveaway with this eyeshadow palette this is beautiful this is a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette. And if you watch Angelica's channel, you know that all of these shades are definitely her makeup aesthetics. There's deep shades, there's amazing shimmer shades, and hello, this green shade, probably my favorite. I just thought it was a beautifully curated eyeshadow palette that not only represented the brand, but represented Angelica perfectly. I am so happy that I have this in my stash. I'm even happier that I was able to do a giveaway with it. And guys, if you picked up this beauty, I'm sure you are loving it just as much as I am. And guys, if you haven't tried Kaleidos, please go try any one of their eyeshadow palettes and any one of their space age highlighters. You will not regret that buying decision. And now we have our last product, our final product, and it's an eyeshadow palette. What do you think it could be? I'll give you a hint. It's from an indie makeup brand, and it's actually an eyeshadow palette that I recently tried, and I was just, wow. And I've had this brand in my stash for a while. I have many other eyeshadow palettes from this brand, but this particular palette, the Michaela and Glamlight eyeshadow palette, it just blew me away. Like this formula that is in this palette, I feel like it is the best yet from Glamlight. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know what you think on that. But I had so much fun playing with this palette. I love all of the shades that Michaela and Glamlight chose to include. I watched Michaela's IGTV video where she was uh, going through each of the shades and why she named them as she did and the colors and all that stuff. And she said she wanted to start off neutral because she knows not everybody likes to play with color. And then she just eased her way into the color as the palette went on. I love that she thought about all of her fans out there because while we might love watching people apply colorful makeup, it doesn't necessarily mean that we are gonna apply the colorful makeup to ourselves and I totally understand that it's not for everybody I, I think it's for everybody I think all of you should wear colorful makeup regardless of your age regardless of your skin tone it doesn't matter to me color is just beautiful but I do realize that for some of you it's just not your thing or maybe you only like to use a little bit of color and that is fine too I just love that she thought of everybody when making this palette and the formula the mattes the mattes are so blendable and crazy pigmented the shimmers are impeccable the shimmers are beautiful they're amazing use them wet dry or with your finger it really doesn't matter there is no bad look that you are gonna create with this eyeshadow palette. And I believe you can still purchase this. It is available for pre-order. And in this collection, there are two sets of lashes. 
I think there are two or three different lip glosses, which Glamlight does have an amazing lip gloss formula. And there is a highlighter. And I was buying the highlighter, and as I was going through checkout, it sold out. So that might be something that I want to pick up um, because I have tried Glamlight highlighters before, and they are really good. But guys, this eyeshadow palette is just beautiful. I don't recall if Glamlight has ever collabed with a creator before, but Michaela is a TikTok star and she has an Instagram. I don't have TikTok, so I just follow her on Instagram. So definitely go check her out because she's just hilarious. She's hilarious, she's beautiful, and she does amazing makeup. All right, guys, so those are my top 10 products so far of 2021. Let me know what you thought. Did some of your favorites make my list? What did you think I was gonna say that I didn't? Or what do you think I should have said that I didn't? Sound off below. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink that water, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.